welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you really enjoy this video. Let's get into the tutorial. All right, well, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. We're gonna throw our hair back so we can go ahead and work with it not in our faces. Um, the first thing I like to do is go in with a primer. This one today is L'Oreal Paris Visible Lift Radiant Booster. It's brightening primer and it's 24 hour hydration as well. So I, oh and it's in the shade 100. I think there's a couple of these, but I go ahead and just put this all over and rub it in. It's always um, a really good idea to start with a base as a primer. If you have drier skin, go for something that has more moisture in it, like long day, like the 24 hour moisture. And let that dry, and I'm going to hydrate my lips. And um, this is from an Ipsy bag. Um, it's Hey Honey, it's a shea butter um, and propolis lip balm. Um, I really like to put this on before I go in with my foundation. It protects the lips, and then it's um, just the easier base to work with. Then we're going to jump right in. I've been really loving these um, NYX Total Control um, Drop Foundation, and I have the shade um, Neutral. It'll focus there. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's not going to focus. But I've been really loving um, just how sheer this foundation is. Um, it's perfect for summertime. Um, so I just go ahead and put some drops all over my face. And it is pretty liquidy if you haven't uh, worked with this before. Um, be careful not to drop it on your clothes because for some reason it won't come out of some of my shirts. So um, just go ahead and drop as much as you want all over your face. And then we'll be taking a beauty blender or any sponge you have. And the sponge really helps to just um, set it into the face. And don't forget the ears, of course. Um, sometimes the ears are still a little pale and you just gotta get a little bit of color on them. So it's really important to just go ahead and pop a little bit of color there and then also down your neck as well. And the concealer that I'll be using today is my ultimate favorite concealer at this time, the Tarte and Shape Tape Concealer. Um, and I have the shade Light. This is my favorite. I try other ones and I always just come right back to this one. Um, so I just go ahead and put it in the areas that light reflects off. So under my eyes, down my nose, cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. And then I'll go ahead and buff this all in with the Beauty Blender. And I'll also try to get this all over my lids, just any excess that's on the Beauty Blender. You don't have to go in for more unless you want that full coverage over your lids. And I will set this today with my favorite loose trans, uh, lucent powder. This is the Laura Mercier in translucent. Um, I have yet to try actually the Cody Airspun, which I think about I might pick that up um, this week. But I have just been loving the Laura Mercier that I've have stuck with this for quite some time now. Um, this is my second one. So I just put a little bit in the cap. And I'm grabbing um, a highlight, it's a tapered highlighter brush by Luxie, I think it's a 522. Um, and it's a highlighter brush, but I've been using it for just setting the concealer and I just like how it fits right in the, my under eye, the corner area, and it's super soft. Just setting all the areas around my lips and don't forget the eyelids and then I will be setting the rest of my face as well I'm just grabbing a real techniques um, powder brush and then I'll be grabbing my Maybelline New York 
Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 220 Natural Neutral Beige. And I'm just going to uh, tap that in. Any excess, just tap it off and press it all over my face. So next, this is also from an Ipsy bag. Um, this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. And I'm just taking a tapered um, brush here. This is a Vanity Planet set, the vegan set. And I'm just going to be contouring out my cheekbones, along my temples, up and over my forehead, just across the hairline. And repeating that on the other side as well. And just for a little bit uh, more of a shimmer for summertime, um, I'll be going in with a mineral, it's a blush, it's called Autumn Glow. And this um, is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And it's a loose powder, so when I open it up, I kind of tap the top off a little bit before I open it so it doesn't go everywhere. And then um, a little bit in the lid, swirl a brush around in it, and then tap any extra off. And I think I'm just gonna put that with my cheeks and over my forehead as well. Just for a little extra glow. So why not? It's summertime. Might as well. Next is blush. I have been in love with this. You'll see that I pit pan with it. Um, this is one of the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush. Um, in the shade Parte. I got this in um, my Sephora birthday gift with a little lippy as well. Tarte is one of my favorite brands. Um, obviously I've used a lot of their products, um, but we're just gonna go ahead and put this on just for a little hint of blush. Sometimes in the summer I'll just stick with a bronzer, but um, I just love this. And everyone's favorite part, of course, highlighting. Um, I'll be going in with another Tarte product, um, and this is the Skin Twinkle Volume 2 um, Lightening Palette. And the first one, I think it had only three shades in it, um, but this one has four. Um, I'll be going in with, um, I think, Daylight and Spotlight, just mixing the two. And I'll just be using um, a kind of a, it's a little kabuki brush, actually, from a Morphe, uh, Morphe, I think the 18 piece vegan set that it just is um, a stiff enough brush that I love just using it for highlights. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the highest points of my face, um, my cupid's bow, nose, tip of the nose, and I'll put a little bit on my forehead too. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the eyes now. I'll zoom you in a little bit. My legs fell asleep, so they are tingly and painful right now. So I um, shift around a little bit, move down. I'm gonna zoom me in and then I'll angle the camera down a little bit. So you can see a little bit better there. Perfect. Hmm. All right, let's move on to the eyes. So we're going to go in with this quad that I um, picked out the colors, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, four shades. Um, and this first one is a soft peach. And I'm just gonna go in with a Real Techniques um, fluffy brush, deluxe crease brush. So I'm just going all over the lid with this one and just kind of setting a little bit to uh, um, just like overall setting the lid with this one light color. And then we'll just build up. I'm going in just to fill my eyebrows in right now, and then we'll move on to the rest of the eyeshadow. Um, I actually just use an eyeshadow sometimes when I just want a quick brow. 
This is the shade Activist in the Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette. One of my all-time favorite palettes. Um, I've hit pan in probably half of the eyeshadows. I'm trying to work through it a little bit more before I go and buy another one. But I just um, start in the middle with um, the most product on my brush and go with the grain of how the brow hairs lay. And any of the extra, I um, will go up to the front and then kind of flick the brush upward to mimic more of how the hair should be laying. And so once you have your desired look, um, go ahead and just start on the rest of the eyes. So we're going in to, with this uh, fluffy brush from Morphe Vegan ATP set. I'm going into the shade uh, Warm Taupe from the Anastasia Beverly Hills and just going to place this right into the crease just to deepen that up a little bit. But once we um, build up the crease, we're just going to be switching to um, a smaller, fluffy um, eye brush, the 282 by Inspra. And we're going to go in with a blazing, beautiful shade. I love that brick orangey red color. But I'm just going to pat this in the outer. Um, kind of outer third of my eyelid and then kind of working it into the crease a little bit kind of blending it in so it's going to come a little be a little powerful at first and bold and then it's just going to blend really nicely But I'm just going to go ahead and keep blending this in until it's a, to um, the shade that I like it to be. Uh, I'll switch back to the first brush we used just to blend the edges together. And that shimmery shade that we'll be using next is called China Rose. And I think I'm just going to go in with my finger for this one. Some of these shimmery products work best with a warm finger versus a brush. They lay better um, onto the eyelid. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that into the center of the eyelid and then after it's all placed where I want it to go, I'm going to blend out the edges. And here we are just blending out the edges. And then I will be continuing down to the lower lash line. I'm taking that same small brush that we use, the um, 282 Inspra Fluffy Eye Brush, and we're going in with blazing again and just hitting that lower lash line just to tie in um, the top to the bottom. Just picked up a mirror and I continued on just connecting that upper color to the bottom lash line. You could leave it right here um, and put some mascara on, but I went ahead and I wanted to add in the inner corner and then also um, a little bit of a coal, black coal gel liner. Inner corner, taking the shade Skylight, the lightest one in the quad palette from the highlighters. And this is a Sephora um, just like a little pencil brush. I'm just going to pop that into the inner corner and a little bit on my brow bone as well. So now we're going to add um, the Sunny Kashuk. This is a black coal liner. I'm in love with this one. Um, I go ahead and put this on my um, waterline on the lower and then a little bit on the upper water lash line as well. And I'll be um, buffing this out. You can use any type of brush, but I really like the end of um, this CoverGirl. It's the blackest black. Perfect point plus. 
eyeliner and this I just love the sponge it just gets right into the area I need it to be and I'm just going to blend out the coal liner and then I'll just be going over that with a little bit more of the blazing um, what's kind of left on the brush I don't think I picked up any more but just kind of blending it out a little bit perfect so now I'm just going to go ahead and get some mascara on um, top and bottom lashes Um, but this mascara is one of my favorites, um, drugstore mascaras. It's Maybelline New York um, Illegal Length Fiber Extensions in the shade black. I just love how it adds that length onto lashes and it's not too, um, actually it's not at all crumbly. Um, I never notice it on resting on my face throughout the day. It stays where I put it and that's why I love it so much. And it's a good price. This is the NYX um, Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade, let me find it, Soft Spoken. Go ahead and line the lip here. Once you put it on, um, you could pat it down with a, with a finger just to give it a little bit more of a mattifying look, but I like to keep this a little bit glossy for this one. And you can end it with a setting spray. That is the finished look. that's the finished look today I really really like how it turned out um, it's almost on the verge of a fall look which I know it's coming to the end of summer but I really really like how it turned out so thank you so much for watching and I um, if you have not already please hit that thumbs up button and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video thank you so much for helping me grow my channel and I can't wait to see you guys soon